everyone, it's Ken with Ken's Creations. Well, today I wanted to kind of go over the differences in the Expression 2 and the Cricut Explore. I know a lot of people have been asking me what the big difference between these two machines are, and they're trying to decide which one to buy. Now, the price difference currently between these two machines is right around $75, and I wanted to go over why, in my personal opinion, I think it is worth the $75 to upgrade to the Cricut Explore because of the vast big differences you get with the Cricut Explore. So in this video, I wanted to go over the machines, the cuts, and the software, and just why I think it is a much more advanced machine. So what we're going to look at today is we have the Cricut Expressions 2 and we have the Cricut Explore. Now, right out of the box, with the Cricut Expressions 2, you're going to get, of course, the machine. You're going to get a cartridge. You're going to get two preloaded cartridges on the machine. You're going to get a mat, and you're going to get the guide that comes with the manual on how to get your machine up and running. Now, the Cricut Expressions 2 is a cartridge-based system, and what that means is you actually can run this machine with your cartridges, and you can design as a standalone machine, or you can design it using Cricut Craft Room, which I will be going over later on in this demonstration. Now, the other thing I wanted to show on this is it does use a standard Cricut blade and it is a manual setting. So everything you do on this machine, you do have to come up with your own settings. You have to come up with the pressure, you have to come up with the blade depth, you have to twist here to figure out all of your settings. So this machine is all user interface. So you have to do all of the calibrating, you have to do all of the setting. Um, it is a typical cutting machine that Cricut has always had. Now, let's kind of take a look at the Cricut Explore. Now, the Cricut Explore, um, first of all, what I love about the Cricut Explore is this machine is revolutionary in the fact that it prides itself on being able to cut anything intricate to anything large. So as you can see, I just wanted to demonstrate that it can cut these tiny little circles on the top of the machine, as you can see right there. Now, with this machine, you are going to get, of course, the machine, you're going to get a cutting mat. You're going to get the starting here guide, which as you can see is much less stuff as the Expression 2. And the reason why is this machine prides itself on being very user friendly and it walks you through exactly what you need to do to set up this machine. You're also going to get, for the first time, materials to cut on your machine. And what's great about this machine is it cuts a wide variety of materials. It's going to cut duct tape. It is going to cut um, transfer tape. It is going to cut thick construction paper. It's going to cut cardstock. I actually have a video showing down in the links below where it is cutting wood. It cuts shrinky dinks. It cuts metal. So this machine cuts a wide variety of material. You're also going to get a pen and you're going to get a blade here. Now the blade is very different than the blade that you're going to get in the Expressions 2. It's a German carbide blade and it is a much sharper, tougher blade and it is built to last a lot longer. Now what makes this different than the Expressions 2 is the CutSmart technology. When I was saying the Expressions 2, you have to set your blade depth, you have to set your pressure, you have to set your speed. On the Expressions, on the Explore 2, you don't have to do that. All you have to do is come over here, you set your material, and you just prep cut, and the CutSmart technology does everything else for you. It's going to figure out the speed, the pressure, everything for you, which makes it an amazing machine. It takes all of the work, all the guessing work out of it. I remember when I first got my Cricut machine, I had a little cheat sheet right up here that would say, if I'm cutting cardstock, here's my settings. If I'm cutting fabric, here's my settings. I don't have to worry about that now. All I have to do is come over here and let the machine 
do all of the thinking for me. It's smart enough to do that. The other thing I love about this machine over the Expressions 2 is for the first time, it has this dual head. And what's cool about the dual head is it can now do, for the first time, scoring. Now, it doesn't come with the base set, but you can actually buy this scoring tool as an additional feature. And now you can actually, a lot of machines out there, including the Expressions 2, when you do scoring on a card or if you do scoring on um, projects, it actually makes these little dashes. And I hate it because when I would lift the card up, it sometimes would rip my project. What's great now is you can actually put the scoring tool right here. And now when you do your project, in one pass, this machine will score and cut. So it has dual heads where it will do it. This is the only machine that I know of that will do it in both the same pass. So it's going to go and score it and cut it. On the Expressions 2, as you can see this, it does not have this. It does not have a tool that will do this for you. It does have an engraving tool that some people would use as a scoring tool, but it does not have a dual head technology. So you would literally have to unscrew this, take this out, put your new one in, and then repass that through. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about are the pens. So with your base set, you do get a black fine tip pen that comes with the Explorer. With the Expressions 2, you do not get any sort of pens. Um, I did upgrade and buy, as you can see, a wide variety of pens, and I am going to show you here in a bit to demonstrate the difference of the writing capability. Um, the reason I'm bringing it up now is they also did it to where you can actually put a pen right here as well. So the great thing about this is I am just assuming here, but I have a feeling Cricut is going to be coming out with a lot more tools to use in this spot. So I have a feeling that this spot over here is going to have a lot more tools in the future that we're going to see Cricut release. So I'm anticipating engraving tools. I'm anticipating a lot more in the future. Um, the Expression 2, sadly, I'm not seeing as many tools and it's kind of phasing out since it is a legacy machine. So keep that in mind when you're trying to decide what machine to go with. One last thing I wanted to show, big comparison on these two machines, is the storage capability on the Explorer. When we're looking at the Expressions 2, there is only one place to store a tool and that is for your stylus. Your stylus is what runs your LCD screen here. So when you're working with a cartridge, because this can be used as a standalone machine, you can put your cartridge in the back here. And then this is of course where you use your stylus and, and do your designing. The only place to store anything here is right here. That's it. The great thing on the Explore is they have thought of everything. You have storage up here for all of your pens. You have storage down here for all of your tools. You have storage over here for all of your blades. They even gave you storage for your mat. On the bet over here, there's a spot for your Bluetooth. And that's right, I can cut without using my cable. Now over on the Expressions 2, there is a spot right here for you to have a Wi-Fi adapter. But right now, I cannot find the Wi-Fi adapter. And I did have the Wi-Fi adapter for the Expression 2. It did not work for me as well as the Bluetooth. The Bluetooth, in my opinion, is a lot better than the Wi-Fi adapter. The other nice thing about the Bluetooth on the Explorer is the Bluetooth also has an iPad app that will work with your Cricut Explorer. And the Bluetooth Wi-Fi app will um, power your Apple devices and it will help you make your Make It Now projects
for design space, which I will go into in a little bit in the Make It Now project segment. So that's a quick overview on what comes in the box and the big differences on the designs of the machines. In my opinion, I just think that this is an amazing looking machine compared to the Expressions 2. Um, just keep in mind as a quick note, this machine here, you cannot design with a cartridge. So as you can on the Expressions 2, I can input a cartridge and design right on this tiny little CD screen. I can put a cartridge here, right there, However, that is only to link my cartridge to my Cricut.com account. I do need a computer to design with this machine. That is a big difference. However, the design capabilities on this machine outweigh the Expressions 2, in my opinion, way, way better. So, we're going to take a look at that. The next thing I want to show you is the difference in the writing capabilities on these two machines. So, let's take a look at So, that. let's take a look at the writing feature compared with the Expressions 2 and the Explorer. Here is the Explorer official pens from Cricut. They come in a fine tip and they also have a broad tip. Now, you can also get third party pens. My favorite is the Crayola fine tip pens. Now, with the Cricut Explorer, I think it is a big difference between the Expressions 2. And in Design Space, they have a writing feature, which is my favorite uh, way to use the uh, writing feature in the Cricut Explorer. So I'm going to go ahead and load my map so we can go ahead and take a look at the writing feature. It's going to have me load my pen in this carriage right here. So I'm going to go ahead and load first the Cricut pen here. And then we're just going to go ahead and start the cut. All right. And now what Design Space wants me to do is it wants me to load the other pen because I wanted to show off how third-party pens work great in the machine. So I'm going to load the Crayola pen here. And we're just going to hit cut on that as well. And we just need to change it back to the Cricut pin to finish out this demonstration. All right. So there is the Cricut Explore. And as you can see, this is what I was saying, the writing feature. So it is a single line, and this is the traditional way that a Cricut would normally do it. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the Expression 2 does for its writing feature. So on the Expressions 2, here are the pens that come with that. So they're kind of short little pens. Now on here, they actually tell you they need to be speed 3, pressure 2, and you actually have to take your blade housing out because they don't have the dual carriage here. Now, um, I've never had success with these keeping their ink long. They usually dry out on me and I always get my matte ink on here. So hopefully I don't on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this is in there tight. My mats are already loaded so I'm gonna go ahead and hit cut on Cricut Craft Room. And it's checking mat status right now. All right. So, first of all, I'll show you guys what it did to my mat. And this is a common problem I've always had with the expression to markers. I have mats upon mats where it does this by inputting it and taking it out, so number one frustration. Other thing I want you to notice, um, when it um, puts the marker on there, as you can see where it's darker, where it puts it down and lifts it up. Um, that's another complaint I have about the markers on the Expression 2. I don't know if you guys can see that, but where it inserts onto the paper and lifts up, it's darker in those areas. The other thing is down here on the um, starfish's mouth, um, on thin parts, it never has done a good job for me. So let's go. 
Alright, so I'm going to show you later on the difference in the software, so I've already loaded my images. We're going to be cutting for this first test some bird cages at 3, 2, and 1 inches. Now on the Expression 2, I'm using a regular standard blade, as you can see here. So we're going to cut this one first so you can see the difference. Now on the Expression 2, you have to load the map by pressing this. And on here, you have to manually go in and set everything. So we have to go in and say, okay, what are we using? So we have to say what kind of paper it is. Um, so this is heavy paper. We have to then go in and say, do we want our speed? So I, it's an intricate design, so I'm going to say probably a speed of three, I think. Um, I have to kind of figure this out because this is... Um, I, I have to do all the work on this. So I'm going to say pressure, gosh, I'm going to say a four. And the I'm going to say one cut on that. And I think that should be good. And then when I'm ready to go, I can actually, it's the original blade. This is where I would change it. And I'm going to go ahead. This is the cut button. And then it goes. Now one thing I want you to know is how loud it is. Um, when we actually compare it to the Cricut Explorer, you're going to hear how quiet that machine is. So we're going to go ahead and let this cut, and then we're going to compare it to the Cricut Explorer. Alright, let's head over to the Cricut Explore machine. The first thing I wanted to talk about on the Cricut Explore machine is the difference in the blade. This blade is a German carbide blade. Now the German carbide blade is a much stronger blade that is built to last. The other thing about the Cricut Explore machine is the Cricut Cut Smart technology. This is an amazing feature of the Cricut Explore. What's great about this is you no longer have to worry about setting your pressure or your speed or your multi-cut. All you need to do is come over to the dial, set whatever material you're going to use, you can even create a custom material, and then the machine does everything else for you. It will actually adjust its speed, its pressure, it will do everything for you to get the perfect cut. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the machine and we're going to actually be cutting the exact same cut as we did on the Expression 2. We're going to be cutting those bird cages at 3, 2, and 1 inch. So we're going to hit go. The machine is going to tell us to load our paper. Now the first thing you're going to notice is that it's a much quieter machine. Now as you can see I'm using a purple mat which is a strong grip mat. This is an old mat and it's lost a lot of its grip so it is no longer a strong grip mat and that is why I'm using it. It is no different than a regular grip mat at this point so please note that is the difference. So let's go ahead and watch this machine cut and then we're going to go ahead and take the cuts off the mat and ex compare the difference between the Expression 2 and the Cricut Explore cuts at the 3, 2, and 1 inches on these bird cages. So I've already went ahead and took this off the mat. Um, I want to note that the one inch on both machines did not come out. Um, this design was just too in intricate on both machines to come out. Um, if I had to say one was better, the Explorer was better, um, but unfortunately it was just in too intricate on both machines. Um, but for this design, um, here remember the green is your Explorer, the blue is your Expressions 2. Now at first glance it doesn't look like there's too much of a difference, however I want to bring your uh, attention to certain things. First thing is look at the keyhole. As you can see, there is much more definition in the keyhole on your Explorer than there is on the Expression 2. It's just much more defined. 
on the fur de lis at the top, you can see on the Explore, it just took its time and just is more defined than on the Expression 2. On all of the points on the birdcage, once again, it's just a little more defined. And even in between every single one of the bird cages, once again, just more definition. And the way I recommend, the way I explain it is kind of like someone going from a standard television to a high definition television. To the naked eye, some people say, well, I might not see a difference. But when you start to really look at it, especially when you start watching Blu-ray uh, DVDs or a Pixar movie, you really see the difference. And that's what the Explorer is to me. At first glance, you say, oh, it's not that big of a difference until you start looking at the details. And that's where the Explorer shines. Look at the notches in the birdcage compared to the notches here. It's just way more defined. Now let's take a look at the 2 inch. This is where this machine shines, is in the definition as the smaller it got. As you can see, the first thing that jumped out into me is the consistency. So as you can see here, look at the consistency at the thickness of the line here all the way down. On the Expression 2, look at this. The consistency just isn't there. It started really thick and got really thin. It even ripped, as you can see, here and here. And that was ripped before I even took it off. It just isn't consistent. Once again, it's just not as defined on certain points. There's the fur de lis right there and there. Once again, look at these definition points. The keyhole is just more defined. And then when you look at the gaps in between the birdcage, look at how much more room there is and how more defined it is. It's just a little bit more clear. It's a little bit more in high definition. And to me, that is what is more magical about the Explorer. That's what the Explorer is all about. It's that extra technology, that extra... Um, time they took in developing this machine to make it a step above all of the other machines, including their own machines. They wanted it to be way more advanced than the Expression 2. And this cut, over this cut, just clearly shows that for $75 more, it is way worth upgrading your machine. It is way worth going for the Explore over the Expression 2. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get you some more cuts so you can see the difference in comparisons. So let me go ahead and cut those, and then we're going to show you the difference in some more cuts. So here are some more cuts I wanted to compare with you. In these cuts, I did the Eiffel Tower, and then I did a little pinwheel. Um, so as you can see, once again, I just want to bring your attention again. The green is the Explore. The blue is the Expressions 2. And even though the Expressions 2 was able to cut all of the cuts, once again, it just comes down to definition. Let's look at the Eiffel Tower. So as you can see here on the Expression 2, look at especially in the curves here compared here. The Expressions 2 didn't even get these little notches here. As you can see on the Explore, there's two little notches, nowhere to be found on the Explore, or excuse me, on the Expression 2. You can't even see them. Once again, it's just more defined on all of these little areas. And I think that is what I'm trying to explain on the big difference between the cuts on the Expression 2 to the Explore. If we go down to the 2 inch on here, you're going to see this is a very tiny Eiffel Tower, but once again, the Explore got very detailed on its cuts. It got those tiny little divots there, and on the Expression 2, it just rounded it right off. It didn't even attempt to make those. It got um, those tiny little divots up here, and it just rounded it off over here too. So it's just those attention to details that the Explore is catching in all of its cuts. Now one thing I wanted to bring your attention to on these pinwheels. 
Now, one of my biggest complaints when I had my expressions too was the fact that even though I would put in a specific size, sometimes my cuts would not come out at that size. So for example, I put this pinwheel at an inch in both the Explore and the Expression 2. And as you can see, they are very different sizes. And I knew this would come out like this because I had this problem all the time with my Expressions 2 when I had it. And so when I had um, the opportunity to do this with this Expressions 2, I knew I would have the same issue. So as you can see, here is the one done on the Explore, and it measures exactly at an inch. The one done on the Expression 2 measures right at about 1.25 inches. And I had a witness show that I did do it at an inch. So I'm not sure what the issue is with that, um, but it does seem like it is a sizing issue within the Explore, or excuse me, the Expressions 2. So um, just kind of an interesting thing. So before I go on to the main difference between these two machines, which is the software uh, between the Expressions 2 and the Explore, I cannot hit home enough the difference in the cutting between the two. You guys, Cricut put a lot of time and research in this machine, in the CutSmart technology, in the blade. It is a vast improvement, and you can see it just in these cuts. If you have not checked out my other videos comparing the Cricut with the Silhouette Cameo, definitely check it out. You're going to see some amazing cuts in those videos, too. I go into some great detail in the cuts here, much more detail than I did in these cuts, so definitely check out those by following the leaks in the description below. Alright, let's take a look at comparing the machine software, and we'll take a look at what those uh, the software can do for the machines. So let's talk about designing with these two machines, and let's take a look at the Cricut Expressions 2 first. Now the Cricut Expression 2, you can design as a standalone machine. You can take the stylus and design on this LCD screen. Now keep in mind, it is a very small LCD screen and your designing capabilities are limited. If you want to take your designing to the next level, you can download the Cricut Craft Room application by downloading it to your computer and launching the application. Now keep in mind that when you do download this, it will take memory on your computer and you will regularly have to check for updates. Just log in to your Cricut.com account and put in your password. Now the nice thing is, because you are logging into your Cricut.com account, if you do subscribe to the subscription service, all of your subscription images will load. Now one thing I do want to mention is one of the big differences between Cricut Craft Room and Design Space when I talk about Design Space is the fact that you are not able to import SVG files or any other non Cricut library files into Cricut Craft Room. And this is a huge difference, and it's a question I get all of the time. With the Expressions, the Expressions 2, and the Cricut Mini, those machines do not support SVG files, PNG files, JPEG files, or any non Cricut image files. Cricut Craft Room also does not support these files. So if you decide to go with one of these machines and you decide to use Cricut Craft Room, you will be limited just to the Cricut library images. And this is very important and a huge difference, in my opinion, between the Cricut Expression 2 and the Cricut Explore. So on the Cricut Craft Room, when they designed this, it really was to mimic the overlay and what the expression to really look like. So let's take a look first at kind of what it, it looks like. In my opinion, I'm going to bring up a cartridge that has multiple layers here. So for example, on this cartridge, you have all of your layers up here, just like you would on your expression or expression two. Down below here, you have your shift key, you have your inches, you have your relative size, your real size, and then you have your zoom in, zoom out. So down here, 
really mimics your overlay and your uh, your shifts keys and your layer key. Right over here is all of your cartridges. You also have a drop down menu that really brings up all of the cartridges Cricut has. And then it really breaks it down to all the specialty cartridges that really drills it down if you're looking for a specific cartridge. The other nice thing it has is it has a basic image search. Now, in my opinion, this is a good image search, but it doesn't compare to what Design Space Image Search is, and we'll show you that when we get there. But you can look up Heart, hit Search, and it's going to bring up all of the hearts. And then you can click on it and it will bring it up into your image or onto your map. All right, so that is this basic feature of Cricut Crafter. Now over here on the left hand side, you have your shape properties. You have how to add a text. You have colors and patterns, which is for your imagine machine. You have your machine and mat to set up your machine and mat and help in feedback. So if we add a image. Let's go ahead and add that heart again. Let's take a look at shape and properties first. This is where you can change your size. So you can manually change your size or you can do that. You can rotate, you can slant, you can change your image and quantity here. You can autofill your whole sheet. This is also where you can add text, different text. So add a new text box. Um, this is where you can change your machine. So right now it says I'm working with the Cricut Mini. Obviously, I'm working with the Cricut Expressions too. I can change inches to millimeters. So this is the left-hand side quick overview of basically just your properties. Along the top here is all of your functions. So you have my projects where you can save your projects. You have your undo function where I can say, oops, I didn't want to do that, or yes, I did want to do that. This will bring up your text box again. Um, this here will cut something, it will copy it, this will paste it, this will ungroup a certain item or group it, you can flip an item, you can flip it horizontally, vertically, um, this is how you bring something to the front or to the back or you can delete it, this is also how you can quickly change your height and width. And last but not least, this is how you cut an item. This is a quick overview of Cricut Craft Room. Now, the one thing um, I don't like about Cricut Craft Room is if I'm working with layers, I have to add mats up here. So for example, this is how I would change my layers. So if I have multiple layers, I have to say, okay, I'm working with multiple layers, and then I have to either A, hide the layers to cut it, I have to be in charge of it, or I have to be um, smart enough to tell it what to do. And it basically, it's a great program at the time. For what it was at the time, it was an amazing program, and it was a great way for the expression to to talk to the computer and for me to really um, design on my computer for the expressions too. The only complaint I had is the fact that it took up a lot of space on my computer, number one, and the fact that it just didn't have a lot of um, capabilities when it came to my images. So for what I'm saying, for example, let me get rid of this. When I bring in an image, so for example, let's say Batman. He's a completed image, but if I need to do this whole image, I have to bring in his base. Then I have to bring in this, 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 and then I have to cut all of these separate from each other. So I have all of these layers that I have to now move around and cut. So all of this needs to be now be cut out in different layers. So why is that a big deal? Well, I want to show you in design space how much easier this process is. 
how much smarter design space is and why, in my opinion, design space is a much better system. So let's take a look at that. So with the Cricut Explorer comes an online design program called Design Space. Design Space was designed exclusively for the Cricut Explorer. For the first time, Design Space has allowed us to import our own files. So what does that mean? Well, that means you're able to go to your favorite designers or to the internet and import SVG, DXF, JPEG, GIF, PNG, or BMP files. You're able to import these at no additional cost. There's no monthly membership fees. You don't have to upgrade to a designer edition software. There is no charge to do this service. It comes with the Cricut Explorer at the time of purchase. So as soon as you get the machine and you bring it home, you're able to import these files at no additional cost. The great news is that's not all. For the first time ever, Cricut is also allowing us to import true type fonts, which are also known as TTF files. So now we're able to go to some of our favorite sites and find those fonts that we've fallen in love with and import them into Design Space. Now we can still use all of our favorite Cricut fonts. We're able to use system fonts, single layer fonts, and we can now use writing style fonts that I showed you earlier, which is a great new feature. Design Space has not only given us these abilities, but they've made it so easy to use all of these new features. Some of my other new favorite things about Design Space is how easy it is to use it. They've really taken all of the work out of designing. You can go from designing to inspiration to cutting out in a matter of just a few clicks. What do I mean by that? Well, let's take a look at the images. I love the library. So when I look for an image, there is a thousand images and owning over 200 cartridges, it can be overwhelming sometimes looking for images. But what I love about it is how they've organized it. So for example, I'm looking for a bear and it's going to bring up all of the bears. But what's great now is it's going to tell you specifically what cartridge it's on, but then you can go to that specific cartridge. So for example, here's this bear and it tells me he's on the Animal Antics cartridge. I can actually click on Animal Antics and it brings me to that specific cartridge. It's going to tell me everything that's on that cartridge. So I can now look for coordinating images. I can look for a sentiment. I can look for a background. This program has really made me fall in love with my images again. It's made me fall in love with images that I've forgotten that I've even had. But what I love even more is how it brings the images into design space. So when I bring an image in, it brings it in as a grouped color image. What I mean by that is how in Cricut Craft Room, I had to bring each independent layer in, group it, and size it. In Design Space, it brings it all in as one image. So all I have to do is size it, hit go, and cut it, and I'm done. Now, if I wanted to cut this all on one mat, I absolutely still can. And I have a video showing you how to do that, and it will be down in the description below this video. That's what's great about Design Space, is they've given us all of these new features, but we're still able to do it with what we're comfortable with. Some of the other great features that they've given us in Design Space is the edit capabilities. So if I bring this in, I'm still able to go up to the edit. I can resize it. I can rotate it. I can do my mirroring if I'm doing a heat transfer. I can weld, contour, I can attach. And for the first time, they've actually given us a scoring tool so we can add score lines. It is a great online designing program. But what I love most about it is how simple it is to use. They've literally taken the work out of it. One other feature that comes with Design Space that you're not going to get with Cricut Craft Room is a feature called the Make It Now Projects. The Make It Now Projects are projects that Cricut and other designers have given to us that give us inspiration. So we're able to go through here and find projects that are already pre-designed that we're either able to make now or customize. 
Once we find a project we like, we can actually make it now, and it brings the whole project up on our mat, and we're ready to go ahead and cut it out. This comes with Design Space already loaded into the program at no additional cost. All you need to do is have the images to cut out these specific projects or subscribe to the subscription plan and you're ready to go. If you want to customize the projects, you absolutely can do that by just hitting the customize project and then you can actually go in there and tweak the project however you would like. This is an amazing addition to the design program and something you're not going to get with Cricut Craft Room or the Expression 2. And they're constantly adding more and more to the Make It Now projects. So I hope that explains a little bit why Design Space, in my opinion, is so much better than Cricut Craft Room and why I feel that you should definitely, definitely go with the Explorer over the Expressions 2 when it comes to the design program. So let's go ahead and take a look at my final thoughts. When comparing these machines, we need to look at the research and time they spent on the Explorer. And that is the reason I think you should go with the Explorer. The Explorer, they spent a ton of time doing research and looking at this machine. You have to look at the smart dial technology. You have to look at the German carbide blade, the Kevlar belts, the dual carriage blades, the designing day or night because it's so quiet, the fact that you can write and cut or score and cut at the same time. Then let's look at design space, the fact that we can import our own files, our own fonts, the fact that we can now do Make It Now projects that are done for us and cut and customize, and the fact that design space is so easy compared to Cricut Craft Room that you can go from design to inspiration in seconds. And now, for the first time, we have an Apple app that we're able to do crafts on the go using our wireless Bluetooth adapter. And now our machines are cord free. And I just love that. And for this reason, I definitely feel that you should be going with the Explorer over the Expressions 2. All right, make sure you guys are following my blog over at www.creativeken.blogspot.com. Make sure you guys are checking out all my YouTube videos and subscribing to my page over at YouTube. And thanks for watching this video. Make sure to go out there and create something magical.